Hello and welcome to the Aircraft Spruce product review. I'm Ryan Deck, Avionics Sales Manager here at Aircraft Spruce, and in this presentation we'll be looking inside the Artex ME406 ELT. Artex offers a wide range of 406 ELT solutions, and the ME406 best meets the needs for a 406 for the general aviation market. First, we'll talk about the size of the Artex ME406. The physical unit is 3.69 inches wide, 2.86 inches high, and 6.59 inches deep, weighing in at 2.05 pounds. By looking at the front of the unit, you will find the female BNC antenna connector, off arm and on switch, visual red indicator, and lastly the 15-pin D-sub connector, which connects to the Artex remote switch that is mounted in the aircraft panel. On top of the unit is the programming, information, and inspection label for the ELT. Aircraft Spruce offers two different part numbers for this unit. The first is a USA version pre-programmed for USA registered aircraft, and secondly, an international version for aircraft registered outside the USA. The international version can be pre-programmed once the country and method of programming has been given to us by the end user. Now we will take a look inside the ME406. The mounting bracket connects directly to the unit and the ELT has a six-year lithium battery and includes a Velcro strap and mounting hardware. The ME406 mounting pattern also works with the prior Artex ELT200 series, ACK, Pointer Model 3000, and Narco ELTs. Next is the ME406 remote switch. As with all 406 ELTs, a remote switch is required in the installation. This is a two position switch with on and off arm positions, as well as a red light indicator to show when the ELT is on or when performing a self test. The remote switch uses a nine pin Molex connector and the connector kit is included in the box. All that is required to wire the remote switch to the ELT is four 22 or 24 gauge wires, which must be purchased separately and is listed as an accessory on the Aircraft Spruce webpage. For all Artex 406 models, an antenna is included in the box. Now because the ELT uses a 406 megahertz frequency, the olden ELT antenna must be replaced. The Artex whip antenna, as shown on the left, is a dual frequency 406 and 121.5 megahertz antenna rated for a max speed of 200 knots, where the rod antenna, as shown on the right, is a dual frequency antenna rated for a max airspeed of up to 350 knots. And lastly, the Artex installation manual and programming documentation. The Artex ME406 comes in a few different models. The standard ME406 has a single G switch for fixed wing applications where the ME406HM has six G switches for helicopter applications. The ME406 ACE version is a direct replacement for the ACK E01, allowing the user to reuse the existing cable and comes with an ACK direct remote switch replacement. Lastly is the ME406P model, which also has six G switches and allows the user to remove the ELT from the aircraft and transmit using the portable antenna, which is included in the box. Artex also offers a two-wire remote switch option for existing installations that have two-wire remote switches already installed in the panel, which will reduce the installation cost. To add GPS capability to your ME406, Artex offers the ME183 and ME232 adapter to interface with your GPS. The ME183 interfaces with your portable GPS using an NMEA output where the ME232 communicates with panel mount GPS units that give an RS-232 output. The ME183 does not require aircraft power and only needs one additional wire for a total of five wires, where the ME232 needs an additional two wires for a total of six wires. This concludes our presentation of the Artex ME406. For more information, pricing, or to purchase a product, you can visit us at www.aircraftspruce.com and in the product search box type in Artex ME406. If you have any other questions or would like to see another product shown on our video review, you can email me at ryandeck at aircraftspruce.com.